Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 2.28. And before we talk about my finished live set, I want to show you one thing really quickly and that's how to download and install a custom script for a MIDI controller that isn't already supported by Bitwig Studio. So as you know, to add a MIDI controller, we just go to Options, Preferences, Controllers, and if we select Add Controller manually, we can see that there are a variety of controllers that already have custom scripts made by the people at Bitwig or made by maybe the manufacturer of the controller so that when you plug in their controller device, it automatically is going to work and communicate with Bitwig in interesting ways. Now, I happen to have a APC40 sitting here next to me. I don't tend to use it that often, but I thought, you know what? If I have clips like I do here in my mix view, it would be really handy to be able to control those. And if I just plug this in and set this up as a default controller, I'm not gonna have the ability to do clip launching and that's something that I really, really wanted to be able to do. So I went ahead, did a simple Google search and found somebody had made a custom script for the APC40. Now, if you know a little bit of Java coding, you can actually make your own scripts, which I would show you guys, but honestly, that is one area where I know absolutely zero. So I'm relying on you and the other people online to make some of these scripts for MIDI controllers that right now aren't supported by the software. And I can guarantee you that right now there's probably a ton of very nice people out there who are trying to make some of these controller scripts. But let's get into how you'd go about downloading, installing one of these, and syncing it up to get it to work. So the first thing I did was I just did a simple Google search for APC40 Bitwig, and here is what it gave me. Um, this was the first option. And so this is an Akai APC40 control script for Bitwig Studio. All you have to do is download the zip drive over here. Of course, you can go through all the readme and check all this stuff out, but really it says what it does right here, and uh, that's all you really need to know. Once I saw Clip Launcher, I knew that was really all I'd have to use it for, and I could manually um, map other parameters if I wanted to, which is what I ended up doing. So once you've downloaded that zip, I've moved it onto my desktop here, and you can see it over here. I just double-clicked it, and now here is the folder that populates. All right, so you can see there's some stuff in here. Great, now where do we put it? I'm gonna show you where you, we put it right now. You're gonna go into your applications, go to Bitwig Studio, right click, select Show Package Contents. So now we're into the belly of Bitwig Studio. I'm gonna click on Contents. Now I'm going to go and click on Resources and Control Surface Scripts. And now all I had to do was just drag and drop this folder right in here, and you can see it is showing up now with all of the other control scripts. Now this is actually made by Akai, but I didn't drop it in the Akai folder, and everything still seemed to work fine. So let's go back into Bitwig Studio, and now if you'll just pardon me for a second, I'm going to try and plug this controller in. and just turn it on quickly. All right, so it's on. Hopefully it will be able to uh, receive this MIDI data. So I'm gonna go to Options, Preferences, and now I'm going to select Detect Available Controllers. And you can see the APC40, it said APC40 plugged in, and it set us up and we're ready to go. And I'm actually looking at my APC40 and all the lights have come on where I have clips. So I'm gonna go ahead, click OK. And now if I scroll up to the top, hopefully you can see this, I have these little white squares. And so that's indicative of the clips that I can actually launch. And if I just mess around with a few of these parameters, I can uh, move things around, and so I'm going to have the ability to then select different clips. Okay, very, very simple, but this is going to be very handy for you guys moving forward. I hope this was somewhat helpful. It may not be relevant to you right now, but as we move forward, you might get a controller, and it may not be supported by Bitwig, but chances are some nice person out there has already made a custom script to get you started. 
So the next couple of videos, we're actually going to take a look at my set and we're going to wrap up the DJ portion of this course. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next lesson.